So I have really been wanting to try out more of Shea Moisture's um, skincare. So I went out and purchased a few items. I'm going to be trying um, sometimes samples just because I want to decide which one is the right one for me. So um, I did get the coconut hibiscus and shea butter soap. And as you can see I have opened it and used it. Um, and then I also purchased the Coconut and Hibiscus Radiant, Radiance Mud Mask. And this is supposed to brighten skin and help with discoloration. Um, and I'm going to use this mask this morning. So I wanted to show you all um, the mask as I'm giving you my first impressions of these two items. So I'm just going to start off with my coconut oil to remove any residue of um, to remove any residue of my makeup. Just take a wet cloth. something for these. <laughs> I have to try out some green tea maybe. Okay, so since this is a bar soap, no, that was loud. It's cute. It smells good. It smells a little bit like Play-Doh to me. Anyway, since it's a bar soap, I am going to run it under running water and then I'll just get some on my hands it lathers really well, it feels good and then I'm going to use my I don't know how you say that, but my supersonic washing machine. It just really helps to get a deeper cleanse. Again, I am just going to take my wet cloth. Purifying mud mask absorbs impurities and removes dead skin cells that can dull the skin. A proprietary blend of organic coconut oil, shea moisture, or excuse me, shea butter, hibiscus flour, and sangi mushroom extract helps brighten, soften, and deeply nourish skin. Leave skin radiant and refresh. And so this is a mud mask, so um, we'll see how this does you're supposed to apply a thin layer with fingertips to clean skin avoiding the eye area keep on for up to 10 minutes and remove with a damp face cloth use weekly or as needed so i was expecting like a charcoal color but it is actually I think it uses bentonite clay. Yes, it uses kaolin and bentonite. It does have glycerin in it, um, shea butter, hibiscus, jasmine, uh, yeah, jasmine, flower leaf extract, matsutake extract, citrus, dulcis flower extract. Yeah. 
pretty much all that stuff. It has an essential oil blend for the fragrance. Once again, um, Shea Moisture is certified organic ingredients. It's fair trade ingredients and it's tested on their family for four generations, never tested on animals. I believe the sample was only about three dollars <throat> and so far I feel like I can get at least two masks out of this if it stays well in a Ziploc baggie and I will be able to get at least two like I've only just used a tiny bit and it's spreading really well it says just a thin layer so I'm trying to be careful not to overuse the product It's a good idea to um, put your mask all the way down to your decollete, which is down here, um, at least monthly, because that area is an extension of your face. It shows. <laughs> Um, very often, you know, unless you wear a lot of turtlenecks or, you know, cover up. But yeah, I'm not going to do that today. Just my face, but just an FYI, it's very important. Okay, so yeah, I still have a lot in this package. And I have enough on now. So I will let this sit for about 10 minutes and then I will come back and take it off and let you know what my final um, opinion is on this mask. Um, I guess while it's sitting, I did want to talk a little bit about the soap. Um, I believe this can be used for body as well. Of course, I purchased it for my face, but this is um, for brightening and toning. It contains coconut oil, coconut milk, papaya enzymes, vanilla beans, shea butter, coconut, but or excuse me, cocoa butter, vegetable glycerin, sangi mushroom extract, vitamin E, hibiscus, sabdorifa flour, and the soaps of coconut and palm. So, so far I really like it. It did leave a little bit of a residue so I felt like it didn't come off all the way. Um, I'm gonna have to play with different things maybe using a toner or something afterwards to be able to make sure that I remove all of it because like I said it did leave a little bit of a residue but my skin feels great. It felt really clean and not too over cleansed and it didn't feel super tight and dry. Okay it's been 10 minutes and my face is super dry. It feels awesome. If you can see like you can see all of my pores. It's really crazy. Um, I needed a deep cleanse so we'll see. Um, how easily this comes off. I just wanted to say it smells really good. Even while it was drying, I just enjoyed how it smelled. So that is a bonus for me. And let's take this off. Probably need a lot of water. I'm going to start by trying to soften it. Okay, it's off pretty easy. Easily. I need to wax these eyebrows when I'm done. I'm an esthetician and I always forget to go up so that I'm not making my skin sad prematurely. You know what that? We want young, vibrant skin, right?
I don't really have sensitive skin, but after a mask, it might get a little red around there. It definitely feels um, cleansed. It feels pretty good. All right, so the mask is off and I'm feeling really good, really clean. Um, as it's drying, I do feel a little uh, dry. Like it definitely cleansed me really deeply. So now I just need to, um, I'm going to use my coconut oil as a little bit of moisturizer because you always want moisture. You want your skin to be able to balance the moisture. Um, if you strip it of the moisture, then it's going to overproduce oil to be able to make up for that. So, oh, coconut oil it is. There you go all finished um yeah i would definitely definitely recommend that and if you're nervous and you just want to try it out um try, get one of those little trial packs like i said it was only around three dollars two or three dollars and i promise you you'll get probably three at least three um different applications out of it if it doesn't dry out i did put mine in a ziploc baggie so hopefully um it'll last me i plan on doing it once a week so um, if it'll last me, I'm definitely going to get that out of it. If you have another suggestion, I don't know, maybe maybe if you were to squeeze it into a container like this, maybe it would last. I don't know. It's worth a try. Um, even if it doesn't last, $3 for one application is, is worth it because it does work well. Um, my skin, I still got some on me. My skin is vibrant and clean and has a nice glow to it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any other products that you would like to see me, um, you know, review, please let me know. And I thank you and welcome you to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for checking me out. Please click that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications so that you know whenever new videos come out. Thank you for watching.